Hello and welcome to this lesson on scale drawings. This is part of the Functional Skills Maths Level 1 and Level 2 course. The learning outcome for this lesson is to calculate actual dimensions from scale drawings and create a scale diagram given actual measurements. The linked learning links back to our scales lesson where we showed you that whenever you're given a scale for a drawing it relates the drawing or the map to the real world and there's a relationship that we write as a ratio. So there's one centimeter to every two meters. So if we're putting something on to the drawing then it comes from the real world for example 10 meters so we multiply by 5 and it allows us to work out what we need to draw on the drawing. This also works going the other way which is taking things off the drawing. So let's have a look at taking things from the drawing or the map first and see how we use it. So whatever our scale is whether it's centimeters to meters, one to two, what we're going to concentrate on is taking a reading from the drawing or the map and put the value on this side of our ratio to work out what the real life value is. So if we measure a line on our map as eight centimeters, then we've multiplied it by eight. We do the same on this side and we end up with 16 meters in the real world. Now one of the most popular ways of giving you scale drawings is using square paper. So if we said the distance from here to here is 2 meters, then we can relate that to the number of squares. So don't be frightened of using squares. So we've got 10 squares is 2 meters. So our strap line for our drawing to the real world is squares to meters, 10 squares to 2 meters. So depending on what you're reading from the drawing, say how wide is our double doors from there to there, then all we need to do is count the number of squares. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 squares. So I've multiplied this by 1.5 to get my 15. I multiply this by 1.5 and I get three meters. So in the real world, this door, this double door is three meters wide. Let's look at another example. So we're going to take the measurement from the drawing to the real world. So here we have our diagram and here is our scale. Now remember when you get scales of one in 50, one in 25, the units are the same. So our scale is our map or our drawing to the real world and we've got centimeters to centimeters because our scale is 1 in 50. We have to use the same units. Now it's asking what are the dimensions of the table, the couch and the room. So for the table if you've got three centimeters from here to here when we put three under here we've multiplied by three. We multiply the other side by 3 and we end up with 150 centimetres. In metres, which is what they've asked for, then that's 1.5 metres. And all you would do is go round the room and take the dimensions for whatever you're looking for and convert them using this strap line. So for example, if you wanted to work out the length of the room, our scale is 1 to 50. And the room, let's say, is 9 centimetres long on our drawing. So the 9 goes under here. We multiply by 9, multiply by 9, and we end up with 450 centimetres. To convert it into metres, we have to divide by 100. So you end up with 4.5 metres as the length of the room. If you have something with a large scale, for example, 1 to 100,000, all it's telling us is that one centimetre on the map is 100,000 centimetres in the real world. 
Now, if you measure something on your map, the distance between two towns, and let's just say it's eight centimeters, then our scale here is multiplied by eight. So we do the same on the other side, and we end up with 800,000 centimeters. Now, nobody actually talks like that in the real world. You don't say the distance from here to there is 800,000 centimeters. So you need to convert it into kilometers. So to get from centimetres to metres, that's a small unit to a big, you divide centi by 100. So divide this by 100 and you end up with 8,000 metres. To go from metres to kilometres, you divide kilo, meaning 1,000. So divide this by 1,000 and you end up with 8 kilometres. So the 800,000 centimetres is 8 kilometres. In class, we practice taking readings from a map or a drawing using the map activity called Transom Island. Now let's look at the other way, where you have to place something from the real world into uh, the drawing or the map. So we're interested in this side of our ratio. So if we have a scale of one centimetre is equal to two metres in the real world, what we're going to do is we're going to place something from the real world into this side and it'll tell us what to put onto the drawing on the other side. So let's just say the length of my garden is 12 metres. Well, because it's the real life measurement, it goes on that side. So to get from 2 to 12, I multiplied by 6. When I come on this side and I multiplied by 6, it tells me the line I need to draw on my drawing has to be six centimeters long. And that's how this works. So back to our scale drawing of our room that we used earlier, and our 10 squares is equal to, let's call it two meters in the real world. If I want to put a table in the room that is eight meters long, then I use my strap line of the map and the real world, 10 squares is 2 meters and I've got an 8 meter object I need to put into the room. So I've multiplied that side by 4. So if I multiply this side by 4 then I need to draw a line that is 40 squares long to represent this 8 meters. So you'd go So my 8 metres is from the wall to here. Again, in class, we use a scale drawing activity called designing rooms to practice this skill. You can practice at home if you want to. So using a scale of 1 to 20, draw a room size 3 metres long and 4 metres wide. And then put in a 60 centimetre door and an 80 centimetre window. Then place a bed, a cupboard, a dresser and a bookcase into this room. And that completes our learning outcome for this lesson. Calculating actual dimensions from scale drawings and creating a scale diagram given actual measurements. So really we're talking about using the ratio method and the strap line to put what you're interested in one side to work out what you need to draw or read from the map on the other. The only word that you might not be familiar with is dimension, and a dimension is just a length measurement with respect to scale drawings. That completes this video. If you need any more practice and an explanation of anything we've covered, please see your teacher. Otherwise, we hope you've enjoyed this video.